to be born Help me Lord to live how I ought to live Let me want what you want Oh my dear Lord Let me love what you love Oh dear Lord yeah. That is Dear Lord, from the way 
choice that is separate from your choice. To be lost in you is my dear. The Bible says, Oh, that man will give praise to the Lord for his goodness and for his mercy. Unto the children of man, for he satisfied the longing soul and filled the hungry soul with goodness. Lift your voice. Let's magnify him. Let's adore, him, adore his name. Let's thank him for all the, the miracles of today. Let's give him praise for the Sunday service. Today, Lord, we thank you for your mercy, for your grace. Thank you, Master. Be thou glorified in Jesus' name. Zechariah chapter 4 and in verse 7. Who art thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? Thou shalt become a plain. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain. Say the Lord, I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down. Jeremiah 51 and 25. Tonight, O God, we prayed in the name of Jesus. We may demand that every mountain, every hill, every obstacle before your people tonight, from this altar, this mountain, we disappear. This mountain, we sink down. This mountain, we speak, we skip like round. We ask, Father, tonight, no mountain will remain standing in the name of Jesus from this altar. We ask for miracles, signs, and wonders. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh. Hallelujah. Right now, call a friend. Wish somebody off. It's time for prayer. And the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. As we welcome the praise team to take us forward. Somebody excited tonight. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Come on your hands together for Jesus. Hey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We bring thanks to you, our God. For all you have done for us. We bring thanks to you, our God. For all you have done for me. We bring thanks to you. For all you've done. Oh, 
show your God is a mighty God. Can you demonstrate it for him? Come on, everybody. to God, wherever you are, please call your friends and loved ones. It is time for commanding the day midnight prayer. And tonight we believe that God will visit somebody in Jesus' mighty name. Let's look at some testimonies very quickly. Hallelujah. Testimonies. Sister Vicky from Ninja State. Above only greetings to my command the day midnight prayer family worldwide. I have come to say thank you to the God of this altar who is too faithful to fail. I joined the prayer late November 2023 while I was surfing the internet due to the lack of sleep. I played different videos of prayers, tongues of fire, worship, etc. But no sleep. Few minutes into the last tongues, I noticed the Dunamis page was live. I wondered what it could be at first and clicked and boom! I had clicked my deliverance, healing and breakthrough. It all started when I returned from my village after Christmas and my sister's marriage. I immediately started experiencing financial hardship and setbacks. First, they fired evil arrow into my health and finances. Finances. On my way back from work, one fateful evening, I met a near accident situation and after two days, I couldn't walk and almost got paralyzed. I was referred from hospital to hospital. My condition worsened to the point that I was bent like an aged grandmother, an aged grandmother. I couldn't walk, sleep, sit, or stand. It would take at least an hour for me to cover a five-meter distance. While I was recovering, I suddenly felt sick again. Then sickness upon sickness began again. I was constantly admitted in the hospital at least every two weeks. And sometimes unconscious, I became ashamed and broke. The very day I came across my day in that prayer, changed my life and story forever. From that day till Jesus comes, I have not been rushed to the hospital or visited any doctor for prescription again. At, again, all the evil arrows are checked back to hell, including inherited ulcer that runs in my family that even my son suffered from. God bless you, sir and ma, for your tireless and immense love for the work of God. I shall come back with more testimonies. Amen. We have joy in Kogi State. Cavalry greetings to all command the day in that prayer family. I have come to return all the glory to God for his healing upon my life on 8th of April 2024. Immediately after the prayer, number three, pastor took authority over urinary incontinence. He said, I take authority over the urinary incontinence. That leakage of urine without your control is arrested forever. Return back to hell in Jesus' name. I shouted amen. That was my case. I have been experiencing leakage of urine without control for more than 15 years now due to an incident, accident I had. But since that declaration to forever, no more leakage of urine. I believe that it has returned to hell forever. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, sir and ma, for all God is using you to do in our lives. Glory to God. Declaration is attached. For a spirit of judgment, to him that sitteth in judgment and for strength to them that turn the battle to the gate. Lift your voice after me and say, oh, my heart shattered. I take authority over that urinary incontinence. I don't know why it has to come out right now. Whether the devil is embarrassing you with, with, with it right now while this illustration is going on. Leakage of urine without your control is arrested forever. It goes back to hell in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Hallelujah. It goes back to hell forever. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. EAA from your state. Good day, command the day, Binda Prayer Crew. 
I want to appreciate God for his wonders in my life. Though I have been seeing this program on Facebook, but I did, but didn't join until my pastor introduced me by sending the link to me on 13th of February, 2024. I have been suffering from constipation and hemorrhoids since early January 2024. I have used several medications and even changed my diet, but to no avail. Late February slash early March, God's servant Dr. Pastor Paul Energy addressed it repeatedly. Like play, like play, constipation and hemorrhoids are gone. Almost three weeks now to hell. I'm here to say thank you, Father, the God that dwells on Mount, on Mount Dunamis. <laughs> May his grace and anointing upon you continue to be on the increase in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. We have testimony from E.I. from Abuja. Hallelujah. Amen. Testimony from E.I. from Abuja. Above only greetings. I want to bless the name of the Lord for his platform of redemption. For this platform. For of this platform of redemption. Thank you, sir. My life has indeed taken a turn for the best since I became a dynamite. And I want to bless the name of the Lord for the glory conference in the UK. I have been having this funny sensation on my right breast. Sometimes I will have to put ice block there so I can get some relief. And just during the UK glory conference, the senior pastor declared categorically that someone is having funny sensations and it's gone. I was following up the service from the house here in Abuja. My brothers and sisters, the funny discomforting sensation on the breast is checked back to hell. I am free and I want to bless the name of the Lord for the grace of God on the lives of my spiritual parents. Being a dunamite has been nothing short of blessings. Thank you, Jesus, and God bless you, sir and ma. Go ahead and let us celebrate the king of... Have one more. Okay, we have one more. One more, okay. Sister Munako. Okay, I think from Gazama, Abuja. Munako Gazama. Yes, sir, Gazama, Abuja. Gazama from Abuja. Yes, sir. Good day, Command the Day family. I joined the midnight prayer fully for the first time on 6th April, crossing into 7th after so many invitations by my friend Lisa, who is a member of Dunamis Church. Prior to this day, I've been suffering from ton tonsillitis. I usually have recurrent tonsillitis, which disappears within a few days of treatment, but the last time it lasted for over a month. I took several medications, yet it didn't clear. So on the 2nd of April, I visited the hospital and I was given an appointment to see an ENT specialist by the 9th of April. Then I joined the prayer on the 6th of April and pastor, during the declaration, mentioned the child with tonsillitis. I keyed into that declaration as I am a child of God. It was almost like an instant healing because since then, the tonsillitis which I suffered for over a month disappeared. I didn't even realize I had been healed until the day I was supposed to visit the, the doctor. And it dawned on me that I didn't have need to visit the doctor again. I give God all the glory. May God bless Pastor Enente and the entire community crew for yielding yourselves to be used by God. Declaration attached. I take authority over adenoids and tonsillitis. That is almost trying to block the nostrils of the child. I declare in the name of Jesus that agenda of the devil is arrested forever in Jesus' precious name. Let's go and celebrate the King of Kings. Let's go. Let's go. Go, go, go. go, go. You are one. Yeah, we sing you are what the Lord you are what you give 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 give
Father, you are worthy. We give you all the glory and the praise. Please, you may be comfortably seated wherever you are watching from this evening. Praise the Lord. We thank God for those testimonies. And we believe that yours will be the next very shortly in Jesus' name. Let's take a look at a few more testimonies here. Sister Chi from Portacot says, Hallelujah, our God is ever faithful. She joined the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayers on the 31st of October, 2023, and it has been awesome. Her family has been having some financial stress for some time now. People owing debts to Claire and imminent financial needs to attend to. On the 19th of November, 2023, her husband and herself came to the conclusion that they just need God's intervention for the first, and for the first time, her husband joined in the prayers. Instant divine intervention in our finances was their personal supplication that night. At 8.48 a.m., just a few hours after the prayers, in the morning of the 20th of November, 2023, her husband's phone rang and he was asked to send his account details for the payment for the sale of their goods that had been in the market for such a long time. He did, and boom, the payment was made, and imminent financial shame was averted. Hallelujah! To God alone be all the glory. More financial and other area open doors, testimonies are loading. God bless you greatly, Sanma, and the entire commanding the day, Midnight Prayer Crew family. Praise the Lord. Somebody's own financial breakthrough is coming. Shall the Lord us. Amen. Amen. Maureen from the UK says, Good evening, commanding the Midnight Prayer family. She wants to share how God has been faithful through this prayer altar. Her aunt introduced her to this sanctuary of God. But at first she wasn't interested because she was feeling tired and discouraged. Even after praying. Then, on December 31st, her younger sister insisted she joined and listened. She wasn't paying for the data anyway, so she participated actively in the crossover night. She, she calls it the sanctuary of God because the words spoken from this altar are powerful and come true. She had been... Praying to God for a job, for marriage, and for good grades in her studies. Then, on April 1st, Senior Pastor Dr. Pastor Paul Enche declared that job opportunities are released in the first week of the month. She kept saying amen to that. And since there wasn't a specific name attached to the declaration, she knew it was for her. The devil can't tell her that because there is a can't tell her that because there is a name attached to it so it is not for you she had been without a job in the uk since december january and february and march hey now she miraculously has an nhs job offer and other organizations and two interviews from nhs and from other organizations which she had to decline it's unbelievable she is the one turning down job offers. Is she the one turning down job offers and interviews now? This place is truly a sanctuary of God. God will continue to bless Pastor Paul, uh, Do Pastor Dr. Paul and Pastor Dr. Mrs. Becky Enenche for standing the gap for people like her. Thank you and God bless you. Hallelujah. God will give you your own job in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother... E.O. Miracle from Edo State says, Above only that is my place. Greetings to the commanding the day midnight prayer crew. Indeed, there is fire on this prayer altar. He joined the commanding the day midnight prayer by a link invite forwarded by his elder brother in November 2023. At first, he wasn't serious, but each time he connected, he would hear people's testimonies and breakthroughs. Then he began to trust God that his own testimony would definitely come of deliverance from the spirit of masturbation, delayed disfavor, and dryness in all ramifications. People of God, February 2024, in one of the commanding day midnight prayer, senior pastor made mention of his case, and he quotes, 
that spirit of masturbation in the life of that brother, that sister is checked back to hell now. He said, what I say to one, I say to all. Anywhere you are having issues, you are free now. Immediately he shouted on the top of his voice, Pastor, it is him, oh, he's free in the name of Jesus. Chai, 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 chai. What an amazing God we serve. Since February till date, or rather, since February till forever, masturbation and the watching of pornography has been checked back to hell till eternity. God bless you, sir and ma, and all the commanding day midnight prayer crew for your sacrifice. He shall come back to testify of his financial breakthrough and that of his family in Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead and let's give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Your word is coming today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mrs. Tessie Ojone Simon Simeon. Uh, Simeon Aegba from Sokoto says, above only, that is her place. She joined the Commanding Day Midnight Prayer last year, November 2023, through her husband. And ever since then, they have been following. She wants to return all the glory to God for how he showed her mercy and delivered her from a terrible accident on the 9th of December. She wants to thank God for how he restored intimacy in her marriage. Brethren, she got married in 2013, and she's blessed with three children. But from the beginning, she has never enjoyed the act of marital intimacy with her husband. All she felt was pain whenever they were intimate. But all, on that fateful day, during the commanding day midnight prayer, God's servant said there is a couple lying on a bed, and he's seen a spirit spouse lying in between them. Right now, he said, I command that spirit spouse to die. And she shouted, Amen. Hey, it's working, oh. Ever since then, she maximized and enjoys every single moment with her husband now. Oh. She wants to thank God for his divine health upon her and her family. God bless you, Sama, for the good work. God bless the commanding the day midnight crew in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give God, the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. God is bringing deliverance to somebody's marriage as well in the name of Jesus Christ. Give the Lord a praise. Let's celebrate the King of Kings. Let's go. Go, 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 go. You are on and I go. Oh, Lord, you are worthy. Clap and a shout of praise. The Bible says, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Please ensure that you wake somebody up at this time. Tonight is going to be the dismantling of mountains and going to be very, very, very brutal against the kingdom of darkness. Wake somebody up for command the day, midnight prayer for the beginning of this week. Psalm 150 and in verse 6, he said, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Psalm 118 and in verse 24, he said, this is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice 
and be glad in it. Lift your voice and say after me. Say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for your goodness, for your goodness and mercy. Thank, thank you for the gift for the of, a of a new day. Thank you also, thank you also for the gift for the of, life. of life. Be glorified, be glorified. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead, open your mouth and pray. <laughs> Father, we thank you for your goodness and your mercies. We thank you for the gift of a new day. Thank you for the gift of life. Be glorified, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your goodness and your mercies. Thank you for the gift of a new day. Thank you for the gift of life. Be glorified, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yes, in Jesus precious name Psalm 118 and in verse 23 it is the lost doing it is marvelous in our sight. It is the Lord's doing. In our midst, in the London conference, and all the time we meet, is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our sight. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for the marvel, for the marvel of your works in our midst. Thank, thank you, Lord, for multiplied, for multiplied testimonies, testimonies, testimonies healings, healings miracles, miracles, signs, signs and, wonders. and wonders. Be glorified, Be glorified. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father, thank you, thank you for the marvel of your works in our midst. Thank you, Lord. For multiplied multiply. testimonies, testimonies, healings, healings miracles, miracles, signs, signs wonders, wonders, be glorified. Be glorified. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of in Jesus, go ahead and pray. Mahashaka. <laughs> Father, thank you for the marvel of your works in our midst. Thank you for your multiplied testimonies, healings, miracles, signs, wonders. Be glorified, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Isaiah 57, 54, verse 17. He said, No weapon that is formed against this are proper, prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Amen. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Job 5, 21. Read it with me. One to go. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Lift your voice and pray brutally and say, Father, Father we, take we take authority over every, over every demonic, demonic agitation, agitation reaction, reaction, anger, anger and, frustration and frustration over your acts, over your acts in our midst and in our lives. In our lives. We, silence we silence their voices, their voices and actions, and actions of counterattacks counter and antagonism. And antagonism. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of in Jesus, name open your mouth and pray. <laughs> Father, we take authority. We take authority over demonic agitation, reaction, anger, frustration. Over your acts in our midst, we silence their voices and actions of counter attacks and antagonism, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We silence your voices and actions of counterattacks and antagonism, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we silence their voices. In Jesus' precious name, shout the Lord and say, Amen. Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse five, verse three to verse six. He said, "For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh." 
The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ and having in the readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. First John chapter 4 verse 4. You have God little children and have overcome them because greater I see that is in you than he that is in the world. Second Corinthians chapter 20 verse 14. He said now thanks be unto God which always caused us to triumph in Christ and make it manifest the savour of his knowledge by us in every place. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day in, this new in the victory mode, in the victory mode to, discipline to discipline and enforce, and enforce the, defeat the defeat of every, of every uprising, uprising force, force, force of the enemy. enemy. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. Go ahead and pray. <laughs> We step into this new day in victory mode to discipline and enforce the defeat of every oppressing force of the enemy, Lord. In the name of Jesus, the Lord answered our prayers in Jesus' name. Can you read with me Psalm 18, verse 29? Everybody go, want to go. For by thee I have run through a troop. And by my God have I leaped over a wall. Higher, I prophesy to someone here, you shall rout every enemy gang up, every enemy gathering against your life. And you shall surmount and climb over every obstacle. In the name of Jesus, pray after me and say, Father, I declare this new day as my day of routing the enemy. Of routing, of routing enemy troops, enemy troops in, victory in victory and leaping, and leaping over all, all enemy structures enemy of, opposition, of opposition, confrontation, confrontation and limitations and in, Jesus in Jesus name. Jesus Go ahead and pray. <laughs> Father, I declare this new day as my day of routing enemy troops in victory and leaping over all enemy structures of opposition, confrontation and limitations, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 shout the Lord and say, Amen. Shout the Lord and say, Amen. Isaiah chapter 28 and in verse 6, the Bible says, And for a spirit of judgment to him that sitteth in judgment, and for strength to them that turn the battle to the gate. Philippians chapter 4 and in verse 19. He said, but my God shall supply all my all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father I, take I take full delivery, full delivery of, needed of needed spiritual strength, spiritual strength and, firepower and firepower to turn, to turn all, battles all battles to the gate, to the gate of, the of the enemy. Oh Lord, oh Lord in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus I, also I also take full delivery, take full delivery of all needed all provisions, provisions for the day, Lord, the day, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Jesus' precious name. Amen. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20. The Bible says, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. He answers everything we ask and everything we think. Lift your voice and pray after me and say, Father, Father we, thank you we thank you for your commitment, for your commitment to answer it. Even beyond, Even beyond what we ask, what we, ask. We, receive we receive the answers, the answers of your hands, of your hands. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father, we thank you, we thank you for your commitment, for your commitment to, answering to answering even beyond, Even beyond what we ask. What we, ask. We, receive we receive the answers, the answers of your hands, of your hands. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Go Jesus. ahead, lift your voice and pray. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, Amen. the Lord has heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Proverbs chapter 26 and in verse 27, it said, Whoso diggeth a piece shall fall therein, Amen. and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that both the wicked, both the wicked and, their and their wickedness will fall, will fall into the pits the piece, that they have dug, and, and their attack arrows. Their attack arrows will backfire on them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, we ask that both the wicked and their wickedness will fall into the pits that they have dug, and their attack arrows will backfire on them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. of Jesus. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Shout the Lord and say amen. amen. Isaiah 26 verse 11b. He said Lord when thy hand is lifted up they will not see but they shall see. And be ashamed for their envy of the people. Yeah. The fire of thine enemies shall devour them. Amen. We declare the release of the fire Amen. to devour the enemies. Amen. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father we, ask we ask for the release, for the release of, the of the fire of your judgment, of your judgment. On, every enemy, on every enemy, altar, altar of, bitterness, of bitterness, wickedness, wickedness hostility, 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 aggression, aggression distraction, distraction, and destruction. And destruction. We, declare we declare them roasted, roasted by, fire, by fire, O Lord, o Lord in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Again, Father, Father we, ask we ask for the release, for the release of the fire of your judgment on every enemy, Altar, altar of bitterness, of bitterness, of bitterness wickedness, wickedness, hostility, hostility aggression, 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 distraction, distraction and, destruction. and destruction. We declare them we declare roasted them. by fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. I set every enemy altar against my life, against my family, against my destiny. Altar of bitterness, altar of wickedness, altar of hostility, altar of aggression, altar of destruction, altar of destruction. We declare them roasted by fire, Lord, in the name of Jesus. My 
In Jesus' precious name. Amen. They are roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. They are roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Zechariah chapter 4 and in verse 6 all the way to verse 7. He said, Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. And he said, Who art thou, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel thou shalt become a plain, and it shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shouts, crying, Grace, grace unto it. Say this prayer after me and say, Father, Father, I ask for the dismantling of all mountains standing in my way by your grace and spirit and at work on this altar today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, I ask for the dismantling of all mountains standing in my way by your grace and by your spirit at work on this altar today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. in the name of jesus Amen. the lord heard he answered us in jesus name Amen. matthew chapter 12 and in verse 29 he said oh El, how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods except he first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house. Lift your voice after me and say after me. Say, Father, Father we, break we break the grip of every controlling principality over the souls of the people in our harvest field. We decree their release unto your service. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we break the grip of every controlling principality over the souls of the people in our harvest field. We decree their release unto your service. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. Jesus precious name. Amen. God heard and answered us in Jesus name. Amen. Give him a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Let's let's go ahead and celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Appreciate him. Go, go, go.
Clap and a loud shout of praise. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Welcome somebody to this platform right now. And let them know that soon we'll be having personal supplications. In Jesus' name. Can we proceed to testimonies? Mrs. Damilola P. from Lagos. He said, praise the Lord, at the beginning of 2024, I told myself that I must be consistent with waking up to pray at midnight. But I was too weak to wake up to pray. So I was asking God, how can he help me achieve this? Just then, God sent my friend, Oga. He chatted me up on 20th of January, 2024, and told me he'll be sharing the midnight prayer link with me every night. And since then, God has been strengthening me. On this altar, a lump that I discovered under my armpit and my, and my right breast on 26th of November, 2023, which was my birthday, disappeared miraculously as I tabled it before God on this altar. And I keyed to Pastor Enenche's declaration of lumps melting away and thrown back to the pit of hell. The enemy tried to repeat a negative pattern in my life as my mom was operated of lump in her breast some years back, but God thwarted it. Also, on the 27th of March, 2024, my son was placed on admission in the hospital for malaria and sepsis. He was running temperature continuously and was administ administered injection on the 27th of March, 2024, to normalize his temperature, but to no avail. The doctor said, Madam, I don't know what to give your son again. You know? I have administered all that I know. I said to myself, God will show up. I pray every midnight on this altar. People will not ask me, where is my God? On 28th of March, my son was given inject an injection, and he started having changes in his behavior, agitations, and some level of consciousness, I started weeping, seeing how my son was behaving. He was showing symptoms of epileptic seizures. I joined the midnight prayers on the night Dr. Ron Kinoli came, 29th of March, 2024. And I knelt by my son's bed, and I cried to God to touch my son, if truly he is the one doing all the miracles I hear people testify about. Lo and behold, God heard me. The following day, 30th of March, 2024, the doctor ran a full blood count test because he said probably there was something else wrong with my son as the medications administered weren't working. As he was taking my son's blood to the lab, I was declaring in my mind that what they saw before, they will not see it again in Jesus' name. Hey! By the time the result came from the lab, everything was normal. We were discharged that same day as my son's total health and recovery took place that same midnight of 29th slash 30th March 2024. I glorify the God of this great commission. He is the doer of all these great testimonies. Now before and after videos of the son attached. That's right. Uncle is eating food right now. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Hallelujah. A change of story is coming for somebody and you are the one saying a loud amen. Sister Joy residing in the UK. God's blessing to every member of the Commander Day Midnight Prayer crew. I am amazed by what God did for my family. My mom completely paid for some products, but, but the supplier refused to deliver the goods for over two months. After keeping the money for about two months, the supplier started demanding for additional funds due to the unstable exchange rates. This gave her lots of worries. On the 24th of March, the senior pastor gave a word concerning those who were being owed. The next day, someone gave a testimony of how he sent a text message to the debtor as instructed by senior pastor Paul Enenche. My mother sent the same text message. I have been empowered to ask you to supply my goods with immediate effect to the marketer. And also asked the marketer to forward same to all his bosses. <laughs> Guess what? 
The same day, at about 12 noon, they called her and supplied her with all the goods she paid for without demanding for any extra fund. That was not all. On the 27th of March, I heard another similar testimony during the command of the day midnight prayer and decided to key into the grace. I sent the same text message to someone that I've been owing my husband almost 2 million naira for more than 2 years. We tried everything possible, including the police. He replied with a kind of mockery, but I remember that pastor said they will lose peace if they refuse. I held on to the word after one week. Without any further communication, he credited my husband's account with a complete money. I am amazed at how God works in mysterious ways. God is here. He is faithful. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say loud, amen. I declare pressure upon everyone holding what is yours. They lose their peace and sleep and rest until what is yours enters your hands. In Jesus' name, amen. Apostle A.Y. Isaiah from Ghana. He said, good evening. Beloved Commander Damien, I prayer members. I want to return all the glory to Master Jesus for coming through for me using his servant, Pastor Paul and Enche, to set me free from satanic afflictions over my life. During the 19th of March, 2024, commanding the day midnight prayer, senior pastor mentioned my case and said, I speak to Yakubu as well. When God has laid his hands on you, the devil cannot lay his finger on you. I speak to you today that that finger of the devil on your life, whether it has come in the form of affliction on your body, or it has come in the form of a garment of shame or reproach, or the spirit of death, I declare roasted by fire. Brethren, that was exactly my case. Whoa! My name is Yakubu Isaiah. And I'm pastor from Ghana. I started a ministry last year, February 2023. And things were moving well by the mercy of God. And the instructions from the altar of Deuteronomy by the senior pastor. But December last year, I had a vision where an agent of darkness pierced his two fingers into my waist. And that was the beginning of my health challenges and setback in ministry. I have since been suffering from urinary tract infection, difficult in Britain. Peptic ulcer, knee pains, blurry vision on the left eye. Severe heart pains, both lower and upper back pains. In fact, the whole of my body has been on fire. And sometimes I feel the spirit of death. I've been to different hospitals for medication, but to no avail. I had to hand over the ministry to my assistant pastor. Oh no. Because I couldn't stand to preach. I've been following the command of the day I pray every day. I'm putting it before God until my word came that day. I thank God for my deliverance and total turnaround of my life and ministry in Jesus' name. I am coming back with more testimonies in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, Sanma, for your time for us every day. God bless you all. Picture and declaration attached. This is the picture of the barrage of drugs. Incredible declaration. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to Yakubu as well. When God has laid his hands on you, the devil cannot lay his finger on you. Hey, I speak to you today. That finger of the devil on your life, whether it has come in form of an affliction in your body, or it has come in form of a, a, a garment of shame or reproach, or the spirit of death, I declare it roasted by fire. In the name of Jesus, somebody shout glory. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Hallelujah. Give him the praise. To him be all the honor in Jesus' name. Now we have some clips that we'll be showing. Can you go ahead and show us clips of testimonies recorded? Good morning. My name is Emmanuel Ibabuchi Chisom. That's my full name. I want to really appreciate God. What God has been doing in my life through this commanding a day midnight crew. Honestly, first and foremost, I want to say God has been so wondrous. My prayer life has been revived. I I, I feel the hunger to pray. I I I I I feel the desire to pray. I want to really appreciate God for that wondrous revival in my life. And uh, secondly, on the thirty-first of March. God's servant, Dr. Pastor Paul Eneche, gave a prophecy concerning what was happening in my family. He said, you, your name start with E. In your father's house, your father suffered from financial limitation and setback. Likewise, your mom suffered and suffering from marital abuse. 
and uh, failure. Honestly, that was what was happening in my family. But as soon as I had that word, I claim it and I key to it. I shouted with a shout of victory and I blasted, speaking in tongues and claiming it by the mercies of God. And I believe so far so good that testimony has come to stay. And I know that every satanic financial setback, every satanic marital abuse is jerked back to hell forever to entirety. Honestly, I want to say a big thank you through this platform. The Lord has used you to make a drastic change in my life and in my family. And I want to know and believe that this has come to stay to the end in Jesus' name. Thank you, Papa, Mama. God will continue to use you. Your oil will never run dry as the ocean ever run dry in Jesus' name. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. I'm Dunlop from Abuja. I want to thank God for his faithfulness upon my life through this prayer altar. I joined in in October last year. My wife sent me the link. And ever since then, I've been glued up till now. Um, to us, uh, I've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb for my wife. You know, because we were married for almost a year prior to that period, there was no conception. So uh, that very month that we, we joined, um, God actually blessed us with the fruit of the womb. My wife is pregnant. I want to return all the glory to God for that. And secondly, for my prayer life, I usually find it difficult to wake up at night and pray. But as a result of this commanding the day midnight prayer altar, I, I, I am able to wake up and pray. I like pray through the night. And any time I'm, I'm, I'm unable to, as a result of stress from work, in the morning, as soon as I wake up, I always connect. I want to thank God for that. And thirdly, I want to thank God for my wife. She has been healed of halitosis. Oh, she had no. that for almost a year. Oh, no. And sometimes in February, the prayer was going on. And then the, the servant of God mentioned the case of halitosis. Bad and I breath. claimed it with all of my heart. And I sent. I also told my wife to connect to watch the rebroadcast. And she did. So when I came back from work... Um, by the end of February, or yeah, towards the end of February, and then I, my, I, I just discovered that the Halle, the smell couldn't, act, it was nowhere to be found. She didn't even know that she was healed. And when I confirmed, I was like, ah, babe, I, I can't perceive any, any odor again. So I want to really thank God for that, and and for the sacrifice that the man of God is, is doing. It's not easy. No holidays, no anything. As a result of his commanding the demeanor prayer altar, wherever he goes, he has to be back. At night and take the you know the prayers. Uh, God is only God that will reward you Amen. for all the sacrifices you're doing. God will bless you bountifully in Jesus' name. Amen. You know it's a terrible thing for babes' mouth to smell. That devil is a bastard liar. Every devil of reproach around your life, that reproach returns back to hell in Jesus' precious name. Go ahead. Next testimony. Good morning, commanding the day midnight prayer family. My name is Katambi Blawayo and I bring greetings from Winners Chapel in Osaka, Zambia. I have come to return all glory and honor to God because a few days just before I arrived in London, England for this Glory Conference 2024, I was summoned to appear before the police, but I was forbade by the Holy Spirit through his promptings from calling any lawyer, but to appear before the police officers alone in his presence as my counsel beloved as i presented my statement and also gave documents to the police officers that confirmed my innocence it became apparent that i was saved from an entrapment and a snare of the devil i have returned to give all glory and all honor to god our father in heaven above only is my place in jesus name good good day my name is Akbara Nozio Amaka from Onitra. I have come to glorify the name of the Lord and what he has done for me. I joined this prayer in February. I was looking for something to help me pray at night. And I came across somebody's book one of those days. I decided to check on YouTube and I found commanding today. Since then, I have been joining and I also invited my husband to join. He has been joining. My siblings who have been joining, my mom, my auntie have also been joining. Our prayer life since then has changed and moved to another level. I also want to thank God for the word of knowledge that came about someone in close business. I claimed it and God has been doing wonderful work in my business. 
I also want to thank God on the night, course of our night to a new quarter, the course of our night to a new month of April. I, during the declaration, God servants were declaring, I fell under the anointing, and the night, in the sleep of the night, I slept, and I dreamed, I saw myself in a whole house where I lived before for a very long time. I always dream and see myself in that house. So that particular day, I saw myself in that house with a group of people, like a group of people like students. They were trying, they were oppressing me, they were intimidating me, and they were harassing me. So I, we kept on going into the house, we went upstairs. So all of a sudden, we got to a place I saw someone, I can't remember who that person is, and I was telling the person, this person, these people don't know who I am, they don't know who I am now, I just wanted to show them to you, and to receive power change, I come and I started beating the person that was oppressing me, I have come to give them glory to God for what he has done. Hallelujah. God has said, can we stand up on our feet and let's celebrate the King of Kings. Let's celebrate the King of Kings before we go into pressing our supplication. Lord, a big clap and a lot of shout of praise. We are going to go before the Lord now. Take 30 seconds of appreciation, one minute in personal supplication, and then we shall receive declarations tonight. Let's go. In the name of Jesus. 
Be upstanding if you can. Yesterday we asked that people present the list of any mountain that you want dismantled before you. If you have any such list, you can present it. If you don't have, just lift up your hands in expectation. Having as a point of contact the particular mountain you want dismantled. Lift your hands high. In Jesus' name, this mountain. I stand here tonight by the anointing of the Holy Ghost upon my life. I declare that that thing that constituted that had been a mountain in your life. Tonight is the expiry date of that mountain in the name of Jesus. I declare the collapse of the mountain now in the name of Jesus. The mountain of death. The mountain of premature death. The mountain of antimarital spell. Chronic singleness. The mountain of barrenness. The mountain of failure at the edge of breakthrough. The mountain of delays. The mountain of a chronic illness. I stand by the anointing of God and I declare. This mountain expires now. In the name of Jesus. That right flank pain that looks like a kidney disease I declare it healed right now that mus muscular secretion twitching on the upper abdomen whatever it is I declare it over right now I declare the hick of ending and terminated right now in the name of Jesus Christ let the petal run somebody watching from the upper area I declare that spirit of inheritance that masquerade spirit that altar that is fighting your life with nightmares and also fighting your, 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 your career with failure today it is set on fire and any other person from anywhere you may have come from and that woman said a name is attached so it's not for her it's not true. 
whether a name was attached or not, provided a condition attached is your condition. Your healing is, is there. Your deliverance is there. Anyone with a, that is a victim of a masquerade spirit, ancestral altars, demonic forces, fighting you with nightmares in the night and frustrating your destiny in the daytime. Today, the altar is set on fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is somebody who is facing the case of unlawful detention, unlawful conviction. Before this week is over, I declare the matter is over. In fact, under the next 72 hours, I declare the matter is over as the truth shall be revealed in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody about to be dragged to the police because of indebtedness. They are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are putting you under serious intense pressure. I declare before this week is out that indebtedness situation shall be dissolved by the mercy of God in the name of Jesus. Watching with a life threatening condition. Name starts with a J. Like parata satakala, a woman. I declare to them, even if you are a man and you are watching, but you have a life threatening situation right now, that threat to your life is over in the name of Jesus. There's somebody losing blood. Blood is being lost, blood is being wasted. Whether it's the condition of anemia or the condition of passing out blood, whether it is his tool or passing out blood as a woman, whatever that blood loss is all about, I declare the arrest of that set that devil, the spirit of death is arrested right now in the name of Jesus. First name A, M, second name J. I declare today in that category that I just mentioned, in the name of Jesus, that situation of blood loss is over somebody is under the pressure of accommodation situation serious intense pressure whether you are being pressed to move out i don't know what the pressure is but again before this week is out that pressure is over in the name of jesus somebody is suicidal thinking of killing themselves and i declare over indebtedness again over pressures and demonic harassments i take authority over that suicide devil your tenor expired in the name of jesus receive drastic and he gave me the word for that person and then the word is also for everybody in, the, in any category of pressure you see when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we're like them that dream if somebody giving the lord a turn around shout of hallelujah because a turn around is about to happen god god the devil wants you to kill yourself before god turns around your situation but i declare that will not happen receive your turn around in the name of jesus that dental condition i declare it healed right now somebody invested money that is about to be lost stories upon stories upon stories with huge investment some some investment up to seven figure in foreign currency some investment up to six figure in our currency today i declare whatever is happening as a story with that investment it is arrested before the week is out i declare your intervention in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a relationship about to break. And this relationship is under pressure because of the impute of people. External talks in the, in, involved. The, the, the man is hearing from here and the other person is hearing from there. And they are clashing your heads and telling you bad things about each other. In the name that is above every name. I declare that enemy agenda is arrested and returned back to hell. In the name of Jesus child born with congenital malformation birth defects including a hole in the heart struggling with breath and struggling with this oxygen i declare from now between now and tomorrow morning divine intervention that will perfect the life and the body of that child be released right now in the name of jesus minister of the god professing a lot of shame a lot of reproach is trying to turn around and say lord i'm not i don't want again uh, did you call me at all if you call me why am i why is there no result why is why is my life a mockery and a shame people are laughing at me people i left in the world they are laughing at me i am here to announce to you god has not given up on you he has a visitation for you but you should come under very strong spiritual prophetic apostolic covering for your life and for your destiny you have labored by yourself enough 
in the name of Jesus tonight I declare the vis visitation of God to give a turnaround to your situation in the name of Jesus that bloated tummy whether it's a liver condition or a fibroid condition with a big bloated tummy I declare today it is debloated it is deflated it is deflated right now in the name of Jesus Christ father thank you for hearing and thank you for answering for turning around the captivity of your people for collapsing and dissolving the mountains and thank you because before this week is out multiplied and bountiful testimonies get ready people where they are owing you money they will send for you the systems are put under pressure what is yours that they have kept they shall lose peace and sleep and rest until what is yours enters your hands i call it down in jesus name stretch out your two hands as i pray upon the upon the hands what is yours shall look for you what is yours shall locate you. What is yours shall enter your hands. If you are saying amen, say a louder amen. If you are saying amen, shout the loud most amen. Lift up your phones or anything that is a point of contact you have. And I declare before this week is out. In fact, under the next 48 hours, 24 hours, alerts, phone calls, interviews, promotions, supernatural supplies transfers shall happen i prophet i declare as a point of contact what is yours shall be released to you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost and i see a lot of these miracles happening right here and right all over the southern african area the eastern africa and all over the globe take your miracle in the name of jesus it is done somebody say a loud amen somebody shout the lord must say amen somebody say amen at the top of your voice hallelujah Anywhere you are watching from all around the world in need of surrender to Jesus, say this prayer after me and say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life and make me a new person. Today I have decided to follow you, Lord, and no turning back. From today I go forward ever, backward, never. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Shout the loudest amen. Shout amen at the top of your voice. You pray that prayer, send, send us the details as it is on the screen and then stretch your two hands in front of you. And right now, I prophesy upon your hands your harvest from the north, the south, the east, the west. They shall look for you in the name of the Father and of the sons and of the Holy Ghost. Systems are put under pressure of loss of sleep, loss of peace and loss of rest in Jesus' precious name. Giving details are on the screen. Tomorrow is a full blast healing, deliverance, breakthrough service online tomorrow. Psalm 107 verse 20, he sent his word and healed them. That is our target. Invite all friends that are in need of healing, in need of deliverance, in need of breakthrough. And while we're saying that, Ethiopia get ready, Kenya get ready for your own healing, deliverance service. We've had Port Harcourt this year, we have had Kaduna this year, and we have had London, England, this year. None of them was small at all. Explosive meetings with unbelievable manifestations of God, crowds, and especially altar calls. Ethiopia, get ready. And then Kenya, get ready. God bless you in Jesus' precious name. Somebody say a loud amen. 2024 and above only. Where is your place? And above only. Go ahead and celebrate the King of Kings. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Healing deliverance, break, break, break through service, break, break, break through. Oh, way you mere na sinare kile. Oh, way you mere na sinare kile. Oh, way yo, oh, way you mere na sinare. Oh, way you mere na sinare. One the more you bend, the more. Aya. Oh, way you mere na. Aya. As oh, way you mere, mere, mere. Oh, way you mere, 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 mere. Oh, 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 oh,